Hello people, Meister here, back again. This time I'm going to do a video about my tank controls. How I use them, I do use just a DualShock controller. How to gain control of a few other separate things. Take control of your machine gun without changing your turret direction. Same with a camera, those sorts of things. First off I'll say most of my changes revolve around the L1 button. It was only used as firing rockets in aeroplanes, so I've reassigned that to an L1 combo and I've opened up L1 combo and with almost every other button on my controller. Okay, so... Let's get into the control menu and show you what's happening. Okay, my settings are in the advanced controls. You saw I pressed out the left bumper there to come across. And let's look under tank controls and see what I've done. So the first thing I've done is changed these controls here on firing from the main guns. I've segregated it so I can fire secondaries and machine guns on the left L2, fire from a main cow on the right trigger. But most importantly, I've removed touching from a touchpad. By the time you've uh, fumbled a big shot, KV2 or something, by pressing that to see how many players are left 40 second reload <laughs> you'll see why I've done that I thought it was just crazy having touching a touchpad for a fire button okay there's the crosshair lighting L3 and R3 that allows you to turn your sight and rescue red useful on some maps especially uh, Finland I found you can use the R3 and the X button to change the mods. Interesting thing is it will change that grey bar, not the uh, black bar that the mouse pad was highlighted on. So here we go, I'll just show you. Remove the binding, assign the button, press the right buttons and there we go, it's set in. Sight distance control. This is for the horizontal reticule on the aim and scope. This is allowing me to hold the left L1 button again using a right stick, move it up and down. Okay, ammo selection down here, you see that I've done it on L left and right on the D-pad and L1 with left and right on the D-pad. That's allowing me four types of ammo. Tasty, but I've got it locked down to two buttons essentially, freeing up more space on the controller. My next trick is this machine gun. I've set it to R3 to pick up the machine gun. L1 and R3 to reset to get everything pointing at the same place. Up on a D-pad, I've signed to the primary weapon. That will enable me to point my machine gun one way, press up on a D-pad, take control of a machine gun, but uh, of a main gun, but leave an MG pointing wherever it was pointing. Okay, view controls here. You see I've assigned the view axis to L1 here. I think it was down and the right stick. I've changed it to L1 and the right stick. It's working for me. You can see I've set driver cam and binos there. Here was the clash, I think. No, it's at the top of this page, excuse me. But while I'm here, have a quick look. L1 and square for my X-ray mode. That's useful for um, inspecting any damage, you know, when you've taken a knock, see how bad it was, or if you survived it with no damage, really. And there's my rocket. I've set it to L1 and R, just for the record. All right, so a bino cam. L1 and triangle, driver cam, L1 and X. Mouse lock activation up there, I've set it for down, that's really useful. Allows you to hold down on the D-pad, touch the mouse pad and just pan around the field. Under miscellaneous I've set a couple of double button things here, smoke, leave the vehicle and chat. It's nice to be able to enter that chat mode. I think I spent a year not being able to. Alright, and I think that's pretty much it for the control setups, the changes I've made for tanks. Don't worry about it saying it doesn't support joysticks, it lies. Okay, let's see what I can show off then. So, pressing R3 lets me pick up that machine gun. When you aim it too high up, 
you do end up seeing a butt of a vehicle, a bit like AA, so I like to zoom in there. Up on the D-pad to let me take control of the main tank gun. As you can see, the MG is still pointing skyward though. Might be useful and realistic when you're expecting air raiders to come in. And there you go, uh, L1 and R3, I've managed to reset both the guns together. This is using the mouse look, if I hold down on the D-pad I can spin around with the mouse, get a nice look, you can zoom in with square there, all sorts of things. This is using the L1 stick, I can hold L1 and spin around the cam, uh, tank. If I release L1 before I release the right stick however, I can get the tank stuck into looking a different direction to the turret, the camera looking a different way to the turret. It can get a bit of disorientation from time to time, but it does allow you to see where you're going and fire from, from the wrong direction over the back end of your tank. You just dab L1, you get control of the camera the way it should be. It's nice because sometimes you will tie yourself in a knot with that. Okay, range finding both sticks together you see I can turn the rest of red, nice L1 and up and down I can move this sight scope all I like, not very useful at this range, who needs a range finder for him but let's have a look at this next target maybe I could show off the range finder a little here so zoom in on him, I try and set a range what am I guessing, about 300 there I see it's gone into the uh, and to the part of the body, so I've set the sight to that and now I'll bring that crosshair up and actually go for a kind of headshot that I want hopefully this will be a bit more of a punishing shot there you go so, nice application of that does work better at long range you know, it's, it's really nice with a 30 or something and you get someone decent range at 1400 metres it'll be better when I unlock the AP for the thing ok, I think that's it for the um basics on the tanks controls. Hope it helps out. If you got any comments leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.